classics. Hood classics. Hey, welcome back to the channel. And today, we got another full review. Ha ha! We are at Geno's, the original OG Geno's in Phoenix, Arizona. And we're going to see what they cheese sticks is here for. Holler if you can't, then don't bother. Let's get in here and see what's good with them. Yeah, we stack knots, got a seal like a padlock On the front line, we stand off Rip around from the mascot, like service like NASCAR I'm a, I'm a have not, used to be a petty hustler Now I'm building enterprise for my city and my tribe That's a landmark, looking back at where we came from Just me and my day ones, got it from the ground up the asphalt we Hello guys, welcome back And we have the owner of the original Geno's here Mr. Dan, thank you for speaking with us You're welcome Just got a couple of questions for you As far as the opening of this location can you tell us opened and how long you've been open actually this location opened in january of 2018 and i bought it in october of 2020 so it's been open five years uh, and i've had it just you know three and a half okay and give us a little bit about the history of you in running establishments like this uh i've been in pizza since 1982 I opened my first location in 1986 in Minnesota, and I uh, got up to five locations at one point. Uh, I had 140 delivery drivers. At <laughs> That's one called point. hard work and dedication. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, but but part of that was uh, with that many employees. Friday nights, I'd end up delivering pizza instead of running my business. So eventually, I sold them down to one store in downtown Minneapolis. Okay, okay. And the last question I have for you is, is there any relations to the original Geno's in Philadelphia? There is not really any uh, connection other than we tried to copy what they do. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what I like to hear. And we are going to try the cheesesteak today. I am honored to speak with you. Lastly, very last thing. If you have any words of encouragement for entrepreneurs, because you obviously are doing big things, what would you like to tell up and coming YouTubers or up and coming business owners? There's highs and lows, and you just have to do whatever it takes to get it done. And you gotta be dedicated to what you're doing. Um, it's easy to perfect your craft as far as operationally, but your mindset has to be always positive just keep moving forward thank you dan for allowing me to speak with you and we are going to try the cheese steak here at the original genos let's go. but in my streets i'm a giant just like optimus prime i'm a beast i'm alive get 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 don't don't play none nah nah don't play none nah I ain't with the games none no time to lay up gotta gotta get this cake up yeah i gotta get my pay up bet i make a way up they said i couldn't but i'm way up bet that i'ma get this pay bug grinding every day just moving sevens in these eights plus gotta gotta eat don't play none, nah, nah, don't play none Nah, I ain't with the games none, no time to lay up Gotta, gotta get this cake up, yeah, I gotta get my pay We are back, and we have all the food here already We got the cheese fries And then we have the Philly cheese steak This thing is cheesy Look at that, look at that So we're gonna start off with cheese fries. As you can see. Mm. Mm. Give me a minute guys, give me a minute. Wow. Let's get into these cheese fries. Okay guys, as you can see, these cheese fries are very, very cheesy. Very cheesy. And they're very good. They're not even over salted or over peppered. And you would think it would just be a standard fry, which it is a standard fry, but it's just a great, they're just doing a great job here with the cheese whiz on this it's just amazing. 
amazing. I'm loving these cheese fries. Loving these cheese fries. Now it's time to try the cheese sticks. Look at that right there. Cheesy, cheesy goodness. Let's take our first bite. Take another bite. Let's get into this cheese thing. So guys, as you can see, there is a lot of cheese on here. There's a lot of cheese on here. There's a lot of cheese on here. The other beautiful thing is that the meat is cut very differently than the traditional cheese steak. They're using ribeye here. And this is a Amoroso roll. Look how soft that is. And this roll is coming from Philly. So they are doing it big with the Amoroso roll. Interesting way of chopping the meat, but nevertheless, it's still a cheese steak. And this was very tasty. A lot of cheese, a lot of cheese, a lot of cheese. Let me see. Look at that, guys. Just look at that. Look at that. Please believe it. Believe it, please. Well, guys, as you know, we got a little piece of cheese steak left. We've tried a lot of cheese steaks on this channel. We've tried Forefathers. We've tried Coleones. We've tried Best of Philly on this channel. And now we had the opportunity to try the original Geno's. Take another bite. Listen, I'm gonna get this wrapped up, finish this food, and then I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts. Okay? Welcome back to the channel, and now it's time for my final thoughts. Before we get into the final thoughts, I wanna say thank you for getting this far into the video. You're almost at the end. Please do me a favor, like the video, leave me a comment on how you feel about this video. And if you can consider subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Now let's get into my final thoughts. Let's start off with the french fries, the cheese fries. Very good, solid cheese fries. You can't mess those up when you're dealing with cheese whiz and you're pouring it over french fries like that. You just can't go wrong. Nice, crispy, cheesy fries. It is what it is. Now, as far as the cheese steak, was it my favorite? No. Can it hold a candle to anything in Philly? No. Is it a contender here in Arizona? Probably not. But nevertheless, I feel that the original Geno's is all about the pizza because the conversation I was having with Dan behind the scenes about pizza showed me his passion about pizza. So I vow to go back and do a pizza review because Dan is like myself. He enjoys the process of making a pizza. And that has nothing to do with his cheesesteak, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether I would give it again. It's neither here or there. Neither here or there. I got to try that pizza, and I got to try those sandwiches that they had, because the bread was phenomenal, as y'all seen in the video. 
And with that said, guys, please, please, if you can, if you're in Arizona, swing right by there, 23rd Avenue in Camelback. Give Dan some love. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, 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 video. I nah, nah, don't play none. Nah, I ain't with the games none. No time to lay up. Gotta, gotta get the